Total Aflatoxin Rapid Test Kit for Cereals and Feed. Test Preparation. Sample preparation. Weigh 5 gram homogeneous milled sample and put into a 50 milliliter centrifuge tube. Add 30 milliliter of 50% ethanol, vortex for 30 to 60 seconds or shake vigorously up and down for 30 to 60 seconds to mix thoroughly. Centrifuge at 4000 revolutions per minute for 2 minutes or put the solution standing for 3 to 7 minutes to obtain the supernatant. The supernatant is the detection solution 1. Pipette 1000 microliter AFD diluent into a 1.5 milliliter centrifuge tube. Then add 200 microliter detection solution 1 and mix well. This is the detection solution 2. Test procedure. Take the required number of red microwells from test tube. Pipette corresponding volume of diluent and detection solution into red reagent microwells according to the limit of detection on the manual and mix well by pipetting up and down 5 to 10 times. Incubate 3 minutes at room temperature. Take out the test strip from the test tube and insert into the microwell. Incubate for another 3 minutes at room temperature. Take out the test strip from the microwell, remove the sample pad at the lower end. Result interpretation. Read by reader. Place the test strip into the strip slot totally and push the strip slot to the bottom. Open the BioEasy Pocket Reader application program. Click the cross pattern test, connect the Bluetooth. Select mycotoxins and the test item. Click test to start. The result will show on the screen. Result interpretation, read by eyes. Check whether the top control line is present. If there is no visible C line, the test is judged as invalid. If there is normal C line, compare the color intensity of test line and C line. If test line is darker than the control line, then the sample is considered to be negative which means the sample contains no aflatoxins or contains aflatoxins at lower than the detection limits. If test line is equal to or near to the control line, then the sample is considered to be weak positive which means the sample contains aflatoxins close to the detection limits. If test line is lighter than the control line or no test line, then the sample is considered to be positive which means the sample contains aflatoxins above the detection limits. Your food safety concern, our dedication.